right so welcome to this session of uh, june monthly class uh, held on 1st of july so what i'm uh, uh, so what i will start with you is the four hour setup for the months for all the all the um, all the currency pairs so from here this is the start of the month uh, from 1st of june for aussie dollar this is the start of the month and this is the end of the month as i speak so there are total 120 bars and 120 bars multiplied by 8 is 960 bars 960 bars uh, generating uh, 32 signals uh, in a month so what our job is as per follow the rule so that it will give you maximum 40 entries out of 100 and uh, out of 960 uh, possible bars not possible exact bars maybe four plus minus here and there so nine uh, so i'll show you all the all the instruments uh, come again yes there are 120 bars in a month four hourly bars for one currency pair so 120 multiplied by eight is 960 there are 960 bars out of that we will get uh, maybe you can count i will show you you don't have to count maybe 40 50 entries out of 960 bars so so as i was saying that this 960 bars will come and go for every month every year year after year till i die and after that also so, so you don't have to worry we don't have to worry this will be generated every month guaranteed that is guaranteed 960 plus minus 4 bars for 4 hourly for 8 currency pair for a month. So let us see how to take advantage of our 4 hour currency pair which is the most uh, um, trade wise most number of trades generated uh, through 4 hour because that is 8.5 in, 8 into um, 4 so 36, 36 of, 34 of them and in intraday in intraday we get uh, um, puru is puru is also knowledgeable 20 23 26 opportunities per month in intraday and in and in, in fibonacci trading we get actually most we get two daily so we get 46 uh, per month so fibonacci trading is maximum 46 entries then intraday no then 4 hour 34 and then intraday 24 all right, so I will show you this four hour. So this is the journal in front of you, and uh, this is uh, we can uh, see that what we can do. You can, we can sort it a little bit depending on your. I have re reduced the um, account size to 500 only, so that I can. It is I think it is affordable. That means five thousand. If you have fifty thousand uh, dollar, you have account size of 500. So I've reduced it that. So what I'm doing, I'm uh, sorting it, short range and short A uh, and then, no, short B first and then A. So what we will have, we will have day wise opportunities, yeah. So let's start with this one. So on 4th of, on 4th of June, we got an Euro Aussie uh, short setup. This is 4 hourly, 9 o'clock. So this is Euro Aussie instrument. 4th of June, 4 hourly, 9 o'clock, 9.00, completed trade, short, we went short, entry was 153.73, stop as per rule, this is as per rule, as per rule, entry was 153.73, as per rule, stop was 155.22, as per rule, exit was 153.12, in this trade, we made 0.4, similarly, on next day came euro cad sterling aussie sorry sterling and then next day the sterling swiss so on that on that week we got four opportunities and four were probably having no setups for the entire week so on that week four uh, four days on that week as you can see we made 0.4 percent in the first one 3.5 in the next one, 1 1.2 in the next one, and 0.8. So in that week, only four hour, five four trades has given us 5.9 percent. So days continue and trade continues. Minus one point six. Minus one means cost of business. 
0.6, cost of business, cost of business, profit, profit, cost of business, cost of profit, profit, cost of and uh, reduced uh, loss, uh, profit, cost of business, profit, uh, cost of business, cost of business, so on and so forth. Yeah. So in this total, uh, uh, I have not actually done this. So let this let's do this one for the um, last week. Let's uh, I have missed something here. GBP CHA we entered on 25th. Let's see where was the exit. So how to know where was the exit? You can refer to the chart. Or now that I have printed, you can go here and see Sterling Swiss. So for Sterling Swiss, you can go here and see where was the exit here. Sterling says I read sample setup which closed when the high was taken out of the bar of this bar because this bar has touched the support, closed above the support and the high of this bar was taken so what was the high of that bar you have to go and see 29th of june 1300 for gbp chf let's do that 29th of june 1300 gbp chf high was 130.47 plus 10 to get out so at one o'clock 13 means one o'clock your job is to you don't you enter here don't close don't close don't close don't close don't close don't close you have you must put a pending order here or move your stop or take profit target here at 136.47 which is the high point plus 10 pips 130 130.57 130.57 you need to write here 130.57 so that trade gave us minus 0.6 sorry it cannot be actually it is short i made a mistake here it was short it was short here all right so that gives us 0.6 and euro cad euro cad was short on 26 so let's go to euro cad short on 26 so euro cad we had a short opportunity there here and i wrote which uh, made price objective as per Friday closer. So what was the Friday closer price objective for Eurocat? Let's go to Friday uh, 1700 bar. Friday 1700 bar is this one. And the close is 154.24. So we go here 154.24. We write here short and then 154.24. So we went point four there. And then Aussie. Aussie was a sample setup on 29th and uh, so on and so forth. So, so you can see entire month gave, gave me plus minus some uh, 0.5 or something here and there. 7% for all the trades in front of us 4 hourly and that was 7% and at a $500 account risk per trade. Uh, assuming that we are taking 1% trade in one of each of them you can of course reduce it so that has generated this much of uh, value so why I am showing you just to give you confidence doesn't matter wh what you do on the 4 hourly or 12 hourly or daily or 48 hour or share trading or intraday or, uh, or any um, asset class trading you will you have to do you have to take all the trades as per the rule if your rule is not to take a trade uh, you don't take a trade that is your rule if your if your rule is uh, if there is a reward to risk I will not take that trade that's fine so on and so forth so if one simple strategy which is 4 hourly which is the simplest one can generate this much of revenue per month or average for, uh, plus minus 2 percent average 5 percent it can generate that's a fantastic experience so have you understood any question I don't know. Yeah, Puru is asking. Yeah, Puru is asking. Um, is it a is it a practice to uh, do good or better? I don't know. Or worse, is it a practice to do S1 plus 10 or uh, close uh, touch close above high take now? Nowadays. Um, uh, you people know that I have only one class, one type of exit strategy which I follow is close above high taken out, close below low taken out. So that, that strategy will actually give you tremendous opportunities to maximize your profit 
like in this scenario here so it it, it close it close this this close above high not taken out close below low taken out close above high taken out so instead of closing here you will close here so in that case what is benefit if you enter here for a 35 pips of risk if you get out there you get 1% and if you get out here uh, you get 3% so that is the difference that's why i have stopped i i have actually following one rule only you can follow any of one of a rule out of the five rules which i have given you i follow only close above high taken out get out close below low taken out get out now the other other also uh, decision making happens between hmm. sellers out and uh, as you see the same example if you go back hmm? if you go back to the screen hmm. on the first uh, s1w probably you see you can see all sellers out this one no on the top this yeah. one see me now like Whether you have a dilemma, whether you should be thinking that as all sellers out and close it out the position, mm, mm. or again wait because the high is too high, so if it high taken out today will be quite long. And in fact, it went to bars up. Mm. So I mean, it is too close to pure time. I can see that, but let's example it is too high. I mean, mm. Assume that there is a risk on that. Mm. So at that position where you see like happening, it is close below. I can see that, but mm. still very nearer to the S point mm. there. So mm. where how we take call on S. Uh, All sellers out decision or take out close over area. Yeah. So, uh, Lisa, you want to answer? Um, <clears throat> my perspective is, uh, I would take it all sellers out if it hits a, if it hits a significant support or resistance. I would take it. Like, say for example, it's um, you know, it's it's a support or resistance. Where the where previously the price has moved from that significantly, or we're looking at um, uh, the 200 EMA. If it's if it's bouncing from that, I will take it. Um, and also, I look at uh, the levels. So, how many levels is gone from the main pivot line? We've got S1, S2, right? So. Um, that will it is not fixed that is a that is dependent on your interpretation of how far you think it will move more or not that's my that's my fantastic thank you so much uh, lisha puru has asked a question uh, puru asked that uh, what to do with this one uh, um, when it is close below whether to think that this is all sellers out at s1 to get out or not i i requested lisha to answer The question. Lisa said, uh, "If I'm incorrect, uh, correct me." Uh, she said, "If it is bouncing from a previous support resistance like this one, as we all know that the low of a low of a hammer is always a support. So as this one. So I, if she would probably, uh, uh, what I would do, I will tell you. But I, I, I'm now I'm interpreting Lisa's answer. She would wait for the price action to happen from a previous. Support resistance point. So, if the price action is not happening on the previous support resistance zone here, she so would she so would not do. She so would not think that this is all sellers out. So, what is my answer here is to Puru is probably first. There are only two things here. First of all, it has closed below. So, first of all, it has closed below. So, there is more more often than not there is an opportunity to go sh um, farther down. Number one. And number two is just blindly follow your rule. If it is close below, it is not a all sellers out. If it is close below, it is not a all sellers out. So what you have to do? You have to take the risk of losing some pips if price moves up, or getting some more pips if price moves down. That is always a risk. It is never a perfect answer to that question. So my answer to that question is stick to your rule. If it is closing below. Then don't close the trade. If it is closing above like this, then close the trade. If the high is taken out, not in that case, it is not. Yes, uh, there is a close below. How many pips you are considering? No, yeah, one pip. Right. So same case situation you have that in this case where you have on that uh, end which you show that it, hmm? it closed below, but immediately went up so high. So you lost. You will you will lose your money. Mm. No, no, no. Unless and until you you are closing your trades, there is no loss and profit. Paper yes. money is nothing. Unless no, and until you are closing, you are not realizing your pro profit. Correct. But if you see a big bar now up, then what do you do in that situation? Nothing. 
close about now in high technology. Yeah, I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait for this bar. You're not booking. You're not. As, you're not taking that as a TP turning point. No, that, it's not. No, in no, this no, case, no, it is I'm not. Talking about the right extreme. Which one? Uh, you know the right, right. Mm. The big bar. Ah, yes, that. Mm. So where in that situation you waited? Yes. Now mm. next day you found that. But next within next four hours you found mm. that the bar has completely turned opposite mm. the big TP turning point. Mm. Now in situation what to do? Whether you take again high take or not, that will be too costly. Mm. Whether to close the trade on that bar, mm. mm. as in uh, uh, taking it as a turning point, mm. or do what? Yeah, in this example we have already closed our trade here because touched and closed above high taken out. Already closed the trade here, so isn't that, it? I understood that one, but let's yeah. remember we had that situation. So it's a theoretical question. He is asking in the in this case what to do if if we have not booked the case or if it is not the case, then it, it, it has closed below. That's fine. And uh, so it has closed above now. High has to be taken out. So what I will do? I will wait for this high to be taken out. If it is not, I will again close the trade here. <coughs> I have I have a single rule. Single rule. It has to follow. Close above high taken out, close below low taken out. Doesn't matter the size of the bar, doesn't matter if it's a turning point or not, so would on and so forth. Would you already have taken, uh, sorry, yeah. take, taken the profit? Right here. Uh, sorry, yeah, and, but Kuru's example is the next one hmm? on the right. Hmm. Yes, that one. So hmm. would you, you have not taken the profit 10 pips above that? No, because it did not close above. It has to close above. Why you don't? Are you going My rule. No, I understand, but you can at least safeguard your son. No, that does not work. Doesn't work because it hits and it goes back. Because I've been listening this for the last 10 years yes. from people. Ah. <laughs> so let it go. Let it go. <laughs> 10 years and that day a trader came to me and I asked him how many years you were trading. He said 20 years. And I, he said to me, I don't want to do basics. I told him, you have to do basics. So a fellow who is doing 20 years of trading, I told him to do start basic trading with us. So that's how it does not work. Thinking never works in trading, it will never work in trading. Only the rule based trading will work, nothing else. Yeah, is, that a, is that the second time it hits the same location mm. where you see that it did not close below the hammer? So does it say that now it is Yeah, the that you can, yeah, that you can because say. Because now it is about, mm. that high can be taken up. So yeah, that's a good, good, that's a good observation. And Lisa also said that, yeah, if I ha I did not see that, now Puru told, if this is a support now, if this is a support now, and if we do not have uh, pivot points, if this is a support now, so if this is a support, and this fellow has touched the support, and closed above, and then high taken out, then I will be out here. Then in that case, Lisa's observation and Puru's comment is correct. Otherwise not. Make sense? Yeah. Are you considering any turning points in the whole scenario of 4 hours? Yeah. I, see, I only see this. Yeah. And are you looking to uh, directions or anything which will... No, no, no. The like counter trade don't take it or no, no, just take it as a no. Alright, so uh, let me see whether uh, our participants from uh, online have asked any questions. So let's see that. Where are those questions now? Google has changed the structure of Hangout, so I have to, I probably will take some uh, one or two days to. Have you asked any question? And has anyone asked any question? I am not getting the questions. Did anyone? Yeah, I, I can't see that. Sometimes did, uh, did anyone ask? If you are asking question, can you please talk? If you can, unmute and talk. Unbelievable. Check on that bottom three. Hmm? Three bottom three. This one? This is you. This is me. This is Selvan. This is Rosemary. And why there are so many windows it is coming? I don't know. Thousands of windows are coming. You had Aussie 26 by 9 setup, which I checked that time it was a blind setup. Feedback. 
Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You should ask people to send a comment or something. There's no, no comment. Yeah. So, this chat window is vaporizing somewhere here. <laughs> chat window is vaporizing. I don't know how to stop that vapor. Hide messages are missing on the left side. So, see by microphone, speaker, report additional diagnosis. I don't want to report. Um, bandwidth incoming. Hmm? So what was that? Uh, on the left top corner, hide message that arrow. See that click there. Hide. Hide message. Hidden there. Or? This one? Yeah. No. Yeah. Show messages. I have done show messages. So the messages should. I'm not. Uh, I cannot hear you as well as I cannot see your questions. Can you speak? Try sp- unmute and speak, or else you send me your questions through uh, through this. Oh yeah yeah yeah, there is a one. Okay okay okay. Now I understand. Okay okay okay. All right. On a, I have lost connection. Is the problem on your end or my end? Who is this, Rosemary? It is your end probably, Rosemary. You have to go back and again. Please click on this link again. Yes, I log in again. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Rosemary. Uh, what happened to Sri? Sri, are you there? Alright, so Rosemary has not asked any questions, Selvan has not asked any questions. Alright, I can see the, or, okay, it is in the email, it is in the mail section which is coming, unbelievable. Recently I have found two bugs in Google and hand it over to them. <laughs> they are working on it. <laughs> Google also do mistakes. Alright, so I have, if I understood everything and do not have any question, can I move on to st- setups? Yeah, go, go ahead. What is this value here? Huh? Go. 26 by 9 uh, was a setup that time. W7 or 8. Hold on, hold on. This is actual. Uh, actually, should be this one should be on 8. Yeah, that's fine. Now, this one is. So, there is some. Because I sorted, so the formula got changed actually. W7 plus R8. So, it should be actually R8. Yeah, so everything is fine. So we started with $200, $200 profit, then made $1,774. That makes $1,979. So plus $579, plus $379, minus $500, $2436. So these are cumulative. So these columns are cumulative. These columns are cumulative. And this is year, 18 is the year. And this is month, 6 means June. And this is the day, Monday, Tuesday, so on and so forth. Yeah. So if you can neatly, neatly clean, neatly keep this journal, it will give you tremendous. Monday we did one percent. Tuesday we did five point two percent. Wednesday average we did two percent for this month. Thursday we did a negative minus one percent, and Friday we did zero percent. And this is the peep cost. So Aussie CAD. 9731, Aussie Swiss 7337, Aussie Yen 8199, and Aussie EVA 7408. So you have to do it once a once a week. I hope you are doing it. Yeah. All right. So what are you telling? Uh, 26.9. 12 hour. Mm, you're four hours just now. Four hour. Mm-hmm. Which currency pair? Aussie. 20. Sorry. So I'll go to Aussie. Uh, 26. 26. This fellow. Yeah. Hmm. That time my screen was showing blank. Uh, what blank? Blank means there was no bar on that time. On red bar? Yes. 100% that was there. There was no bar. 100% that was there. Unless and until you are playing on the time, the bar is 100%. Because I, I personally have taken this trade. 26.9 is the trade. It is in front of us. Let's go to 26.9. 26.9. This is the one. No, this is short. This is this is the one 266 yeah nine two four two four zero five is the entry point here and the entry point here close is two four zero five yes hundred percent yeah same price if it appears later like it doesn't appear and then I see later on so shall I re enter at the same price uh, it will never happen that way but if you buy some time you what that can only happen if you have done 
or thing called uh, um, Sunday something like that if you have played with this Sunday display weekend data this not display weekend data so on and so forth that will vary the histogram can vary only on display weekend data or not so Puru is asking if he has missed this one can he enter on this bar yes because it is on the same price as long as it is on the same price like this one we can enter on this bar or that this is not the bar this is did not come to this point so any bar which is touching this point with any bar which is touching this point but has not touched the S1 has not touched the S1 here if it has not start the first target in this case it has already touched so if it has not touched this one so this is not a one so this is not the one so this is not a trade here this is not a trade here but any any bar which has touched that same price is a setup like this bar has touched that price this bar has touched that price this bar has touched this price so we got four opportunities to trade this even if you cannot see for your selection if you cannot see this histogram actually you can enter here at the same uh, price or any price same price same price same price okay. 7405 which hit that price 7405 is the entry price we got four opportunities to enter on 4 hour, do you close on, uh, on the opposite uh, LCPT happening and you close the position? I close here when the high taken out. Close above high taken out. No, that is for the support level, but in the line chart, if they have a... This uh, trade was closed, if I, if I, yeah, I'll go to the line chart. This trade was closed here when the it has touched the S1, close above and high taken out. So this is on 27th of June. So if I go to 27th of June, here on the Aussie yeah, I have written here which was closed when the high was taken on 27 June that's the same bar I am referring here on this one on this one yeah so there is no change nothing only collection of pips so what did you say Puru? no I understand uh, hmm. but my quitting room uh, if you see a line chart line chart okay let's see line chart if you having any opposite NCTP happening <laughs> so do you close the position based on that I don't because I told you I only close on, close above, high taken out, close below. So if you ask me thousand times, my answer will be same. But you know in your review, some of your reviews for the, uh, the two day, for the two day, I was reading some, for the last month, and you said it should be taken out, because, uh, it should be exited because there was a... Oh, for, the for two days. For two days, it's alright. Oh, for two days, you do that. Four hours is very dramatic in nature and very quick in nature and very volatile in nature so you better to have one rule only yeah, and if, the, uh, if you see a daily uh, chart that times it is blind hmm. later on if it becomes staying favorable then there is no enter. setup no setup, no setup. Right? if the entry time of the four hour daily so is uh, blank uh, like may, many times I see that like this one is a blank here 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 but later it and then, then yeah no, no we don't we don't we don't, do, we don't go back to one o'clock when we are in five o'clock to see the setup of one o'clock do we <laughs> we don't but if you have in the same price level you can still yeah yeah this a, um, but I don't yeah, yeah. if my eyes has shown me that it is a not setup for the daily and the daily histograms comes after 4 hours, I will not enter. You say 1 o'clock, that means 1 bar happening at 5 o'clock, you don't see that bar, right? Morning 5 o'clock bar, I don't see. So you wait till 1 o'clock? 9, 9 o'clock. No, but 9 o'clock finished at 1 o'clock, so you can't take even that one. So I thought no, one o 9 o'clock I see on Tuesday. No, night, night uh, evening time. I see. At 9, I see. Will finish at the 1 o'clock. I don't see. That you don't see. And uh, midnight 1 o'clock, you still see that because it happens at 5 o'clock. I don't see that. that also, you still I miss two bars. Two bars. Two bars. Some For the last 10 years, I'm missing two bars. Yeah. Nothing yeah. has happened. I'm yeah. live. Yeah. That's right. Because your setups are still showing that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll not show that they're set up unless and until the same price is hit. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Right. So Even if I write 0, 1. Oh, and in, yeah. Morning, if that yeah. price is hit, then only. Mm -hmm. So you put that entry there, is it? At that uh, only if, if the price is there. But price means, is it auto entry you hit the price or what are you trying to do? Mm, no, supposing so 1 o'clock, so show, show me one example of 1 o'clock. Let me so let me go to see. What Puri is asking an interesting question. Supposing there is a 1 o'clock entry. 
I don't know yet to find out. So Puri is asking for night one o'clock, one a.m. and five a.m. What do we do? We do nothing except when we come at nine o'clock and see the price of one o'clock and five o'clock is still valid. We enter. Otherwise, not. So let me see any questions from here. I am still getting the same error message. Unable to join. I don't know, Sri, what to do with you. Every month you have problem. But Rosemary is there. Selvan is there. They are not having any problem. Please try another computer. Yeah, log out and log. Thank you, Selvan. Log out and log in back again. Please, we are in Australia, so you should write please. <laughs> Come again, which one? Eurocad. Eurocad. Mm -hmm. Okay, Puru has challenging situation. Eurocad, and the date is nineteenth yeah. of June. Nineteen twenty-one. This one here. Yeah, what is your question? That was your setup for four hours. That is 21. Yeah, 1921. Yeah. Mm. So that bar you wrote that as a setup. Mm. Uh, so how, how did you enter that? Mm. No, it's a no entry. 21, did I did that 21? If I've done that, that's yeah. a mistake. Eurocad 1921, let's go. Eurocad 1921, let's do. Nineteen Euro CAD Nineteen twenty one sample set which made the price objective. Actually, hit that one. Monday, eighteen June was a sample set which meets COB. So, this was a COB, and this was this was, yeah. So, let's see. Nineteen twenty one. Nineteen twenty one. This is the one. No, price did not hit, so there is a no entry. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 1921. <laughs> it goes that way. 19. You can change the time here also. As I am doing in front of you. 21. And the price is... 153.45 you have to change the price 153.45 yeah it did not hit so it was a setup it's a, it's a mistake from NP financial sorry for that yeah so we did not get an opportunity to enter here anyway we did not make any money because that was a see I, I see I did not write here it to hit the target here I did I I did not write so it has to close Friday the closer. Friday closer so hmm but it's a, yeah if you have not if you have if you have missed this one i think i missed that one so you have an opportunity here which is the second entry but it's an invalid entry yeah so, but for example can you explain that how you enter that you say, uh, if this one here this, uh, yeah example like you show the demonstrator how you enter the price no if the target is hit no, no, when you enter, the next day morning you already saw that setup, it was at night. Yeah, so you, have, you come here at uh, 5 o'clock uh -huh. and place a pending order at this price. Open. Uh, 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 pending order, that means yes, yes. Uh, must, uh, limit, limit buy. Actually, limit on buy. Day, if you see it hit on that day, maybe that's On this one here. No, 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 next day. Next day. No, you can see the red bar. Yeah, it hit here. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. this is hit the target also. Oh, okay. But that's what you put this out. So, if you have this one, to answer Puru's question, when you are here at 5 o'clock, that means 9 o'clock, 5 o'clock bar closes at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then what you do, you have to put a pending limit order, <coughs> buy limit order, and if this price is coming very close to that, 53.53, and this is 53.44, no, this actually will not trigger. And if you see this one here, Hitting the target, you should uh, delete your order. You should delete your pending order here. You should delete your pending order there. All right. And again, you are not closing. You are waiting for high above. High uh, close above high taken out. Still waited for it. Yeah. You, you should not close the trade here. You should you should close the trade on this one here. Friday close this one here. So Friday at uh, what 
and then this one here b triple f 12 power d set as default okay so go here in 2d and right click here and do a duplicate chart and put it side by side so he is requesting to see because he is a full time trader he has left his job and doing full time trading so i will consider all his request because he has taken the plunge so what we'll do we'll go to 12 power make it 12 power and then do delete this one here you can also do that delete this one delete this one and add b triple f 12 power b triple f build finance from forex my old company 12 power d in your case your name can differ so i wonder whether i have kept it the name as same or not or maybe may have changed to np financials or something like that it is possible what was the first one 12 power only 12 power is it sorry i have to go back i forgot the name i did not write back write down so what i'll do i'll save this for example i'll save this as file save as you can say 12 hour and 2d you save it and then go back to your 12 power it will take 1 minute i'm demonstrating so that i'm doing slowly uh, lt 12 power and right click here and go to b oh there is a space here dash and then space dash space and 12 power so go back to your new template which is if it is fast let me know uh, 2d and 12 power and 2d come again what is that rosemary you are saying something rosemary i can hear you you are gossiping with jan that much i can tell you <laughs> <laughs> am i am correct isn't it hi jan how are you hi right, i am done so you can drag actually you can drag it and drop it here and you can um, okay so now we have a uh, setup in which we have 12 power side by side two day fantastic so you can ask uh, 12 power questions as well as 2d questions and so on and so forth yeah so please do not hesitate to ask maximize your time i always say that maximize your time to be benefited so we have 12 power and 2d in front of us and we'll save this as save 12 power and 2d and we'll start our journey ozzy your questions this 21st uh, you could have set up Come again. Which currency? Aussie. Aussie. Hold on. Let me go to first the check, first check their questions. Uh, Siri, sorry, muted now. Okay, thanks, Rosemary. That's fine. Siri is still struggling. All right. Let's do this. What a nonsense way of doing things from Google side. Google is not putting the chat from here and putting it here. Unbelievable. Okay. I think I didn't. Even <coughs> pop out i have popped it out i pop in hang out <laughs> what is this popping <laughs> i will leave all right i'll pop out okay no matter okay your question puru 
Which currency pair? Uh, Aussie. Aussie? 2D. 2D? Yeah, 21. Hmm? So, as a set up 21 date. Yes, 21 of June. Yes. Yeah, this is a set up. Correct. Now, for me, that time I have a yeah, LCD is uh, possible because that time the bar Possible. Was, there is no thing in trading which yeah, is possible. No, no, but that time the bar was a blue bar which was 75% above. LCTP. Okay, let's see LCTP. Puru is talking about this bar LCTP. Let's go to LCTP. Yeah, that's the challenge with LCTP. I understand Puru's challenge. Puru is saying this bar was forming then. And it was a blue bar. I understand everything what Puru says. Until it got confirmed, it came down. So you can't take that entry on that day on 21st. Come again. So at that time to take entry. Yeah, you have to ignore the possible LCTP if you are confident. You have to ignore the possible entry, possible LCTP, <laughs> and take this trade. And because this is a hook entry, mm -hmm. and you have to talk to uh, our uh, new friend Lisha, who has done the hook entry. And my favorite is hook entry, and she got better results in hook entry. So you can talk to her regarding her back testing on the success of hook entry. Lisa, any comment on the hook entries? They are good, bad, what? Hook, hook entries are definitely give you a better return. Mm. Um, for me, I need a little bit more practice in terms of, um, you know, how how much how much does it retrace is, is enough. But Papa did answer my question before, and he was saying, well, you don't know, so it's just take it. You just take it, and it, and one time it it may take you out, and one time it won't. If it won't, it will give you three percent. If it will, it will take you 1% from you. So this LCT power, which was a VC that Next question. On the, yeah, on the line chart, mm. the same thing. The whole Can you talk aloud so that I don't have to repeat your question? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. No, Puru, Puru is having some problem. Okay, I'll repeat the questions, don't worry. Yeah, the, mm. uh, the, uh, the bar was completely outside opposite bar. On the, it's like over no, no, no. One thing you did, you actually confused me, Puru, and confused the class. When you say... This was a possible LCTP, I, I did not realize, but you said a wrong thing. What Puru did wrong here when he said it was a blue bar and a possible LCTP? He did two things wrong. What were the two things Puru did mistake? Anyone? Even if, it, even if we have not seen the right hand side. Puru was here when the bar was blue. That was the only correct thing he said. He said possible LCTP, he was wrong. Yes, it was not 50% above the line, that is secondary. Primary is, it did not close, it did not open. It did not even open above the price line. So how is it a possible? No, but we don't need to have the open. 100% open. No, uh, if it is more than 40, 50%. More, uh, open and close is first. So open and close has to be Must. Open. open and close must, then 70% of the deal. So Puru did two mistakes. He forgot to see the open of that bar which is below the line and uh, he forgot to calculate the 70% of the bar because from open to the top is not 70%. Yeah, Puru? Yes, yes, good. Good, that. Yeah, good that. So, so are you saying that if it doesn't open above Avoid. but it's greater than 70% Avoid. Or you can trade your own, you can, if you avoid this one here, you'll probably lose money. But this is in any way, it is not a trading setup. This is a turning point here. This is a turning point here. See, open and close. See, open and close. See, open is above. Here you'll lose money. But here you'll make money. Here you'll make money. Here it is open below. Hoo -hoo. Here it is open below. Hoo -hoo. Here it is open above. Can you see that? Yeah. 23rd May. Uh, like I've already put an uh, If you see, this is a possible... I am 100% with you. I am 100% with you if you take tomorrow morning a possible uh, LCTP long if after this bar has closed. Why? Because this bar has opened above the line and this bar already 70% is more than the line. This is a possible LCTP, not that one which you told Puru. So 70% is high to low and you have to low. High to low. Yeah. High to low. So 23rd May in that situation, when you see uh, 23rd May. 23rd May? Yeah, on the left side. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 23rd May. Yeah. 
So here what, what is happening now? You see the down bar, whether... Open is above. So open is above. So oh. it is above. Well, the next bar is opening down hmm. and it is closing and further below. So what are you trying? Is it a LCTP again or is it not confirmed? And it is not a LCTP at all. Because open is above and 90% of the bar is above. No, that is okay. But next bar which happens down side. So it, you have to open, you have to wait for the, that is a 4 bar anyway, I will not look into it. 4 bar turning point I bought. I don't like it anyway. And this 19th LCTP, which is mm, not LCTP, uh, 19th or 20th. Now this, uh, if you see the left bar, huh? the left bar, the left, yeah, 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 that one. Now that is completely outside the Bollinger and mm. it all sellers out like when it is the opposite bar. Mm. So how do you interpret that? Because you see uh, this also happening on 3rd of May, I think, or 8th of May, opposite bar completely outside Bollinger. Where you start? Uh, what is the question? So how to interpret? Bars, like while clo for closing the position or we can cost you whatever. Puru is asking what to do with this bar. When it's outside bar, opposite, outside Bollinger, completely reverse bar. This bar, these two bars, right? Happening here also. These two bars. No, no, on the one bar. On this bar. Yeah, 13. As well as 8, 8 may also happen. 8 may. So it's completely outside Bollinger and reverse bar. So it's like oversold condition. Oversold condition. Oversold is starting from here. So oversold, oversold. Oversold. These two are not oversold because it did not close below. This is oversold. So my definition of oversold is close below Bollinger. So this is oversold one. This is oversold two, and these three are oversold. So oversold is not a problem, but the problem is oversold then relative divergence then turning point, which happen only here. So this is oversold. Then relative divergence with this pink, oh no, I am color blind. This is purple. Purple, <laughs> purple, purple uh, uh, relative divergence and then a possible turning point. So this scenario, oversold, relative divergence, write it down. Oversold, relative, relative divergence, divergence come again. Relative divergence will have the oversold on the left side. Not a, no, this is not a relative divergence. Don't conclude, no, sir. When oversold means it has to close outside, then only the related divergence will happen. No, in, but in this case it did not happen. This is oversold. Yeah. This is not a related divergence. No, no. But when you say related divergence, you don't need to say oversold. No, it, 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 related divergence can also happen if this close is here. Oh. Low is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is oversold, relative divergence and possible turning point. So this is the place to have the long bias. And if you are long bias on AUD USD, you should have short bias on Euro Aussie and Sterling Aussie. Alright? Opposite. Opposite. So no question? Any question? Can I ask about this relative divergence? Yeah. So um, this bar doesn't need to be an up bar. This bar. Because mm. I, can, I can see mm. if you're looking at the troughs. Mm. But this one doesn't need to be an up bar like this one. To compare the, mm. the, mm. the troughs. Mm. No. No. Preferably, yes. What Lisa is asking, good question actually. Lisa is asking, we are comparing trough to trough because this is a trough and this is a trough. And for trough definition is this bar has to be an up bar like this one as of now. So Lisa is asking whether this is a must that this bar should be a uh, up bar. Theoretical answer is yes, but practical answer is preferably yes. Good question. Next. Let's go to Hangouts. Uh, hangout, no one is asking any question. Good for me. Good for my health. So I'll go to Euro Aussie. Any 12 power question on Euro Aussie? No? 12 power, we had 1, 2, 3, 4 setups. Wonderful setups. Uh, are you looking at any bar entry of a bar? Come again? But no, no, no. Puru is asking whether we are entering solely on the uh, OHLC bar turning point. Answer is no. Answer is no. We are only uh, entering on LCTP or 2DP. Now we go to Euro Aussie. Are you looking for entry? Exit, yes. Exit, yes. Opposite 
Opposite histo exit, yes. But not entry. Uh, not small. Op opposite histogram. Mm. Opposite, opposite histogram. Turning point for exit, not for entry. Yeah, many. I don't know uh, whether you have opposite. I'll write down here on this one. Uh, I'll write down. I'll write down here. Exit on opposite turning point. So if you go to that, you have to search. You have to go to twelve hourly. Opposite. Yeah, opposite turning point. So let's see opposite turning point. We have to search a little bit because it does not happen very often. Uh, WM WM means weekly and monthly. If the weekly and monthly are not matching, then there is no setup. That's why I've written W and M. WM is weekly not matching, monthly not matching. So there is no setup. Uru is asking for opposite histogram exit. I am trying to find my uh, opposite histogram exit. I cannot find. I think I'll find it opposite histogram exit on more on 12, uh, more on 2D rather than 12 hourly. Okay, let's see 2D. Next question. We are on Euro Aussie. Your questions on Euro Aussie. Why 5 June is not a hook? Why 5 June is not a hook for what? Yeah, who can answer that question? Why 5 June this fellow is not a hook to the downside? Simple answer, it is an opposite, possible opposite turning point and a support at a double top, double bottom here on the line chart. And if you see two day foodie, all, all will be same. See, price is coming from a double top scenario almost, not double top, but uh, lower high. Mm. And it is coming to a point up to this point, which is a support. Can you see that? Mm. And when you are here on that day, your question is asked on this day, it is a double support. Can you see this? This is a double top and a double bottom. Sorry, double bottom and double bottom. And a double bottom, this is a higher, higher low. So this will not go short anyway. In, uh, because 200 is also there and this is a crack and snap back so Puri is asking whether to go short here answer is no better the deepest is the better because we have a preference we have a reference of this low which is from 27th of January exact see this 27th of January exact Never sell at a double bottom, never buy at a double top. Like this one, you should never ever buy. Never ever. In intraday also, never ever. So you are assuming that double bottom because the bars have gone above that. Uh, bar has gone point. above this point. Below this is this point. Below this. Below this. But there will be, there will be a sequence of drops, isn't it? So yeah, sequence of drop has already happened from here. How long should I wait for the sequence of drop to happen? This will come with experience. Do you see any double? Uh, like double 851 double pips yeah, is enough. Yeah. Enough. Next question. Um, I wanted to confirm hmm. your trade you said on the 13th of June. Hmm. And I couldn't work out what setup entry it was. Um, okay. Hook. It was a hook. Opposite but histogram hook. If it's the opposite hook, then the hmm. MT should be green. But the MT was black. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> yeah, uh, actually uh, <laughs> she is right, but uh, nowadays uh, I don't personally don't follow the uh, empty rule of uh, for histogram, you correct that, uh, write it down Lisa, I could have told you that day, yeah, as per the book it says the histogram entry hook should be uh, on red histogram for going long as long as the empty, that is the main trend line on the trend detector is green, but I have uh, started deleting that line in my brain so please delete your um, thinking also yeah. even if it is black it's fine as long as score is 4 good question anyway I have to correct that empty it's 15 by 9 is that 15 by 9 no mixed histogram
राइट क्लिक राइट क्लिक ऑन दी गूगल एंड रन एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर आई थिंक दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट अलाउिंग यू अनबिलीवेबल राइट क्लिक राइट क्लिक ऑन गूगल क्रोम एंड रन रन इट as administrator administrator why right. good question okay pushri is not hold on um rosemary is asking can you repeat that point on hook entries and empty color please yeah i'll repeat what i have written in the book is you can go long on opposite color histogram like this black and this red go long if the mt the main trend or tm whatever it is is green but that understanding which happened 5 years before when i wrote the book sorry now lisa has pointed out so i'll change that is not a must that is not a must so i will change it and credit goes to lisa so you can enter long on a red histogram even if the b triple f mt or the main trend in the trend detector is black as long as the score is 4 did i answer your question rosemary i'll have to correct that Which module? You didn't correct it when you first taught me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you never pick up that. <laughs> Correction takes me ten minutes. All right, go ahead, Puru. Uh, did you close the position on twentieth of nine? What? You know, Aziz. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty nine on Diabolus. Why didn't you close the position? Ah, you can, but I don't close. I prefer close above high tech and not close below low tech. Now that I am going long on Aussie, I'll probably close the trade on. You know Aussie. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can. Puru is asking whether I can take the trade close here of the uh, history. Uh, sorry, on the on the uh, on the divergent success, uh, I would say yes. And in this case, I'll uh, take five minutes break and request Lisa to come. and discuss ex, uh, or actually share her experience on the 2d testing daily testing and divergence testing lisa please come here because the mic is here whatever you said me that day finding your findings on 2d uh, uh, or daily, daily. daily and divergence uh, um So I did um I did the journal for the 2 day and um for 1 year and then I also did the journal for the daily for the same year to minimize the uh, you know variation and I found that for the for the daily it gave me 60% more profit uh compared to the 2 daily um however the success rate was lower so i got about uh 60% for the daily versus about 70 to 75% for the two day but i think the main reason why i got more profit was uh the risk and reward for the daily was was better 
because the 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 um, what do you call it the the trade risk mm. is 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 less, less. yes. And diver and di thank you, Lisa. And divergence on your finding on divergence. Divergence, oh uh, divergence. Um, what I found was. There was a very high success rate for using divergence to exit a trade or not take a trade um, on the day chart or uh, using the day, like if you find the divergence on the day chart, um, it, it actually is uh, it gives you a high success rate for either exiting or not taking that trade. Um, I think it's daily, what did you ask me to do? Daily, two day? Two day. Weekly, monthly. Yeah, so <clears throat> the two day and the two day and the three day worked really well. I didn't find as much for the weekly and monthly. Because they're too long time frame, yeah. Yeah. Any question? Hold on, sit there. Unless and until they are asking any question. <laughs> any question for Lisa? Thank you, Lisa. Any question for Lisa, please. Have you, uh, first of all, did you hear what she said? Did you understand what she said? And any question for Lisa? Selvan, you can talk. Rosemary, you can type. Sri is still struggling. I think Rosemary is typing something. Wait for her question. I didn't understand that. Yeah, Puru, you can ask. Yeah, what confusion is there? The two day, three day. Um, Talk aloud. Go close because they cannot hear. The so, microphone is here somewhere. Yeah, so so Partha asked me to do like a just observation. Just look at your look at your daily chart because I'm trying to do daily and then com compare it to the you know those four screens you've got, which is a two day, three day, weekly and monthly. Mm. And have a look and see the for, look for a divergence. All the types of divergence you've got your for different classes for for Ex exiting mm -hmm. yeah. and and not taking a trade. Not for entry. Not for entry. Yeah. 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 So, so from there, what I found was for the two day and three day, if you see a divergence in the two day and three day, mm -hmm. it actually works quite well mm -hmm. to use that mm -hmm. as to not enter or to not trade. And I said for the weekly and monthly. Actually, didn't see it happen. I didn't actually find the divergence mm -hmm. to even it happen. Last that more than a week so, did you understand what she said just yes, now? For yeah. good for what? For not taking a trade. Yes, yeah. for not taking a trade. I repeat, for not taking a trade or for avoiding a bad trade. Lisa said two D and three D opposite divergence played an important role. And that you are looking for daily uh, or uh, daily? Which opportunity? Oh, sorry, you are looking for daily. Isn't it? Or I'm, I'm trying to trade the daily. Daily. Yeah. But you, as you said, that daily did not give much uh, profit. I mean, it gave, but it gave no, more it opportunity, did. but the uh, risk. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. The profit is higher. No, you said only 60% and you're comparing 75% to your PD. Yes, the success is lower, but the reward is higher. In daily? No. Yes, compared to today. Number of wins is less. But the person in yeah, the value of value win of is the, because of the low risk and high reward. Yeah. So the COBs are high. The COB number is more. Uh, Forty percent more. Reward, course, but I'm. Uh, but you see, I'm so new yeah. that I think that maybe I can probably increase that yeah. success rate. I'm hoping. She's asking question. Hold on. Sit no, down. it's not. It's. Fine. No, no. She's asking question to you. What is the take home message on what she found for today? Read the question first because the others are there. Uh, what, what is Lisa take home message on what she found for today and daily? Daily has more profitability with risk reward, but are there more false positives? False positives means uh, what not to do, how to avoid. Yeah. But are there more positive? Yeah, so it's. So there's more whiplash. Whip source. Whip source. <laughs> yes. So there, there were the challenges because daily you'll find a lot of opportunities and where you have to uh, disregard and discard. Mm. So that means your time is going to go more on that daily. When you especially do 2D as well as 
a 12 hour, then you will not have time to think about it. Just stick to 2D and then you can at least have a piece of mind to do what you are doing. Daily might be more profitable, but... Uh, so what is your take home? So what, what do you suggest? You suggest daily to take or 2D to take? What is your well, take for me, mm. f- for me, mm. um, I would try and do daily because for me, I know two day for me is a bit too slow for mm. me. Personally? Yes. Mm. And, for um, my patient's level? Yes. Mm. So... <coughs> no, but are you doing 12 hours or you're not doing 12 hours? Not, not, not yet. yet. Not yet started. So when you do 12 hours, then the challenge will come how to take daily. You know, there where you will be having too much... Uh, yeah. You can't combine daily and 12 hours. That will be too much. You can combine 12 hours and daily. If you're doing just one, then okay. Then I will yeah. Okay. Well, my, my thought actually is probably find out which one I trade better in yeah, that is and then easy. and then I won't I'll, I'll try oh. not to do too much trading mm. yeah. yeah so maybe I might do 12 hour for if a, if a if a currency pair is within a range then I might use 12 hour and then maybe just stick with daily or we'll see how I go but when you made a profitability did you take all the trades which are, even if they were uh, or even how did you Capture even if like you have to first of all take out all the trades which are not risk uh, No, she has done a fantastic job. She has, I think you can say that. Tell your thirty uh, percent experience. You got thirty percent less trade than in the What do you mean? You said that you got thirty percent. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, was what I did was after my journaling, mm-hmm. I went back to compare uh, Partha's uh, no- notes in in the past about what trades were, and actually, I only took <clears throat> my my trades that I did only match thirty percent of what Partha had put in. So what what did he lose? Seventy percent. He did not. He did not. What was yeah. Um, well, I'm still to, to work out what they are, but um, I'm thinking okay, maybe I was a bit more conservative with mm-hmm. with some of the the trades because yeah. I was looking at you know I was looking at uh, you know the position of the close, for example, if it's sort of I look at the I was looking at the main pivot line and I was sort of like oh well I'll just wait to the I'll wait till the price closes below, let's say, before I even think, oh, maybe I should go short. But I think Partha doesn't do that. So her conservativeness restricted her to take 30% less trades. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Fantastic. Good job. Very good. Thank you, Rosemary, for asking questions. Rosemary is asking another question. On Euro Aussie, you have three trading running, three trades running. And possible divergence in your interaction with quarterly horizontal on Euro Aussie. Can you discuss decision to close now? All right. So we have three trades running on Euro Aussie here. One, two, three. And she is talking about a possible. Uh, Puru has already spoken about that divergence, which is uh, exactly happened already. You can hold on. You can uh, Pur, as per Puru, you can close the trade here on divergence. And Rosemary is saying. Uh, quarterly so first part is answered rosemary on uh, divergence yes you can close the trade and second part is on 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 uh, uh, quarterly resistance so let's go to platform options and then go to general and then do uh, display objects on different what is that line Display lines on inferior time units, yeah. Display lines on inferior time units and there is a uh, on, um, 158.32 dot on Rosemary. Fantastic, brilliant. You are still um, very disciplined soldier, soldier. So you have this quarterly line as I have 158.32 and we have a quarterly line resistance and a divergence. My question, my answer to your question is yes, you should close the trade. Mm-hmm. Come again? Divergence, what are you looking for? Are you Nothing. Looking for? Divergence is a divergence. What are you get out. For? Get out. Divergence. Puru is asking what should we do with the divergence. So answer is out, okay. just get out. Huh? No, I don't get out. <laughs> I only follow one rule. Yeah. I am telling you thousand times. 
for you to do don't copy me because i cannot copy you because my trillions of cells in brain are different from your trillions of cells and everyone's trillions of cells i have simplified my trading by sticking to one exit rule close above high taken out close below low taken out if it is working for you it is fine i do watch but not that i only have one rule i know i lose a lot loss of profit but i don't make it complicated so yeah i would my answer to purus question is stick to the one principle i have given you four or five way of exit which is working best from you which is helping you to have peace within yourself all right rosmira i hope i have answered your question uh, one new message no that is answered thank you partha that's good so thanks to lisha for sharing her experience we go to eurocad your ex- your questions eurocad Yeah, so Eurocad, you had a trade for 17th of June, mm. and you said it was a sample setup. Mm. So does that mean sample setup? It means a normal setup, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then my question is: mm. the first blue histogram. It's not the first blue histogram after the red. Yes, it is. See the my chart. This is red. This is blue. This is seven seventeenth. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, sorry. Mm. That's fine. Guru, you have any question? Thirteen, we had any hiccup in thirteen, right? Why thirteen is not? Uh, Puru is asking why 13th is not a hook up. Simple, because it closed below, and immediate resistance is uh, pivot. That's why I have written R R. Close below. Close below pivot. Anything close below is a danger for going long. Anything close above is a danger for going. Anamitra is the other thing. Yes, Anamitra, you are there? Okay, I'll I'll come. Okay. Give me one minute uh, break. I'll just come. Anamitra. So Puru has gone to help Anamitra. come inside so you can ask your questions uh neuro cat i have the two day as well as the 12 hour in front of 12 hour we had three opportunities i think this bombed cost of business but this one oh, this one what so what you can do the advantage of these two setups side by side is you can actually have a bias from the two day and then take the trade on the 12 power so then you have two biases one bias is from the from your uh from your uh, line chart so this is long as you can see i have drawn it this is long and from the two day also you can see this is long so if the 12 if the two day and the line chart are long then probably you, you will only take the long trades on the 12 hour and the 4 hour so that is brilliant understanding if you combine the two day and your line chart to have your bias to have your bias don't panic here that this is a short trade because you saw a little bit of red no this is a retracement 38% minimum and then you have a long bias from the uh, line chart you have a long bias from the two day then only take the long trades on the uh, 12 hour and 4 hour Got it. Thank you, Puru. Good afternoon, Anamita. How are you? I'm good. Good afternoon. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. You missed Lisa's lecture. She did a fantastic lecture. Ah, I actually recorded. I'll send it. <laughs> All right, you look at your questions. Did it close on twenty-first all buyers? Hmm. Twenty-first all buyers out. Any first this one here. So Puru is asking if you have taken a trade on this one long and this one here, should we get out here on the all buyers out? No, this is not a all buyers out. The definition of all buyers out is what? Yeah, <laughs> you know the answer, but you are asking me the question. <laughs> hmm. 
So, Lisa, you have a question? Yeah, so one of your eggs that you said for that one, it was for the 17th of June, you said it should be, uh, you should exit because of the opposite LTP. Mm. So my question is, um, does the LTP need to be, the, you know, follow the same rule as entering, which is? No, brilliant question. So um, Lisa is asking, uh, I've written here, in the comment section of our NP financials uh, in the 48 hour for EuroCAD, the opposite ex ex exit for the long trade should be the opposite turning point on the line chart. So it is written here, the sample setup need to be closed on 26 June and opposite line chart turning point. So we go to the line chart turning point and her, her question is, when we are exiting here an opposite theoretical turning point on this bar, has it to be the same rule as open and close below the line and 70% below the line? Answer is no. Because here on entry, we are taking a risk. Whether it will work or not, we don't know. But in exit, we are booking a profit. That means we are, we are actually making sure that we have a profitable trade here. And if you are a little, little, little bit uh, clever, or why this is a resistance here the first thing first you have so you should do your fibonacci from this point to this point to see that is a reflection of 78.6 rejection here so if you are not convinced why there is a turning point take advantage of fibonacci and it will help you but the answer to your question is no did i answer your question yeah that's good so when you when you um exit you hmm. look at both turning points and if it is an actual resistance. Mm, mm. No. Preferably uh, line chart turning point. No, this one, if this happened, this happened on one, two days, uh, one bar. Mm. If you waited to see your chart on every two days, you will understand. Yes, the yes. This line chart, yeah, that's a good point Puru has pointed out. This line chart has to be seen must every four hour. Every four hour, this line chart must be seen. Because this line chart, although it closes after 2-3 days, like this fellow was 25th of June 21 and this fellow 26th of June 21. So there is an actual gap of 24 hours between these two. But all the close is a multiple of 4. So this 21, 21, 5, 21, 21, uh, 17, all are multiple of uh, 4. Not multiple, actually addition of 4. If we follow that rule of 9, 1, 5, 9, 1, so on and so forth. So this is 21 means 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, evening, 5 o'clock, morning, and so on and so forth. So this has to be seen for every 4 hour. This bar will never close if it is not a 4 hour. But on the same 4 hour, we can have 2 bars because of the volatility of the price. But if you still miss this bar, that's correct that's the challenge of forex trading uh, the volatility is a challenge all right euro us your question so let me see if anyone asks questions here uh, rosemary has asked a question where did she go now where are the pop-ups i missed your pop-ups I lose 33 percent of the time. Don't worry on that. <laughs> Hold on, where are my friends gone? Where are you? Okay. Can you give definition of A B O? All buyers out, all sellers out again, in relation to Euro CAD, please. Okay. So, uh, all buyers out, all sellers out, Euro CAD. Let's see. This is Euro USD, sorry. I go to EuroCAD. All sellers out or all buyers out is simple. I, it, it never changed. So in this case, let's delete the, the Bollinger so that it is not uh, restricting our understanding and increase the price, maximize price. So here it is. There is a definition. Rosemary has requested me to show what is an all sellers out and what is an all buyers out in respect of, in respect to, uh, EuroCAD. 
So in front of me, uh, your eye should be so trained that this is a all sellers out because close is above and just above a support and close is actually very close to the low. So this is all sellers out. This is another all sellers out but this second one is not as good as the you know, first one or the first one is not as good as the second one because this is having a small little weak here but this is fine as long as it is appearing in another support here which is the hook uh, sorry which is the uh, low of the hammer low of the hammer is always a support as pivots are always support resistance low of the hammer is always a support resistance low of the engulfing is always a support resistance yeah so this is a all sellers out because it close above the support of the low of the hammer and this is a and close is very near to the low this is a perfect example of a all sellers out because the close is above the support and and uh, the close is very near to the low now you will ask me you are telling this is monthly resistance one and tell and telling at the same time telling support yes because all this said and done all these lines are support resistance nothing else up to this point when it was not closing above that line it was a resistance so till this point i will say this dot dot line is a resistance once it closed above then from this point till this point this is support so there is a polarity change from the support to the resistance depending on the close depending on the close of the bar there happens a polarity change of this i hope i have un i have uh, answered a 50% of the question and the next 50% is here this is all buyers out because the it is very simple pretty simple this is another all sellers out uh, i'll tell you why you have probably understood that so this is all buyers out because it is close below the resistance and the close is near to the top so that's why it is all buyers out and this is all sellers out because i don't know the right hand side see even if i don't so i didn't see the uh, left hand side i can see that it close um, near the support near the support here it depends on which support you have taken whether this one or that one so if i move to the next one it will be actually mathematically perfect so if i move to the this low this close one here is on the support and this close is near to the low so that explains the uh, all sellers out and all buyers out of uh, uh, eurocad did i answer your question rosemary you have an example of close uh, hmm? all sellers out but it was an up trend so how you can say that all sellers out in coming in Uh, Rosemary is saying brilliantly. Thank you. So after brilliantly, thank you. I will not take your question. <laughs> Tell me, what is your question? You know, cat. No, no. You showed that example of all sellers. Uh, uh, I was showing you know, cat only. Yeah. So on that one, mm. there was a retracement on the top. Uh, this you are you are referring second, to this. The middle one. This one here. Yeah. So that is a, on up trend. So how can you say that is all sellers out? Of course, all sellers out. And for a retracement or what? what yeah, for a retracement. This if this is a hook entry. If Lisa is asking uh, how long it will continue to go down, I said my answer is no. I don't know. As I always ask Anamitra why this disease happens, he always says I don't know. Right? Same thing. Yeah. So this is this is the end of a retracement. All right. Time is running out. Yeah. I'll move out. Fibonacci, Euro US. Especially short Fibonacci at that level. Come again. You showed a Fibonacci on the line chart, but when we should take a decision to see a Fibonacci? In, especially in, on a booking profit. Especially when you are running five hundred dollar. Uh, sorry, five hundred pip profit. See the first weakness on the chart and get out. So if you have taken the pain to draw Fibonacci from here. and you are long from here because of turning point because of turning point you were long from here mm. first weakness is here because nothing happened on the 78.6 uh, sorry 61 uh, 61.8 nothing happened here this 38 and 50 are very weak as you can see these are gray 61.8 it is not all bars sir and that we don't see all bars out on line chart no 
Don't get it. Yeah. So if it you, you should if it is happening at seventy eight point six, this is the first signal of weakness. Yeah. You should get out. Euro US. Your questions on Euro US. This is two days and this is twelve hourly. I have combined them on Puru's request and your questions on Euro. WM means weekly and monthly. Are not matching. That's why you could not take a trade. But the last bar is a S two, like this one here. Hmm? Why twenty first is not a hook? Twenty first, twenty first. Yeah, twenty first was a uh, LTP to go long. At the support, no, don't say, don't go short. When you see this. Never go short here on twenty first. Never go short here when it is a support. And the bottom, bottom left hand of the chart is always support, especially the line chart. Next question. So any question from here? Selben, no question. Sri, no question. Question, quick. This is a question. Hmm. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Puru is commenting a lot of up and down is happening on the line chart. I am asking why is that? Because it's such a downtrend after a downtrend. Yeah, because it uh, euro euro always does that. Big always does that. Because see this, this is a um, this is a horrible trade uh, month, one to three months for euro to ma make money. All the trades here probably are uh, losses here. And why euro is doing that? Because it is now at a probably a support here. And when it is a support, it is failing to cross the 115 level, which is a psychological level also. So 115 level. When you go to the line chart, Puru is asking on a question on a line chart. And in a line chart, what is happening here? The same thing. It is getting a support at this point, and playing around that support, and uh, waiting for break of T1, sorry, P1 and P2. Uh, then we we have a loss like COD is happening mm. uh, because you don't know it is going to turn into a new market after no, that. No, you don't know. So how we stop ourselves uh, getting chopping in, in this uh, situation where? You get out of this and not play with that. You understand? If you are up trend and go down, you do that. You take down trend, it goes up. Then if you understand what is happening, it's all very easy. But you don't know that. So how we minimize our losses? You cannot minimize our losses unless and until you are following a rule. So if your rule is saying that you you have to supposing you have three losses. Supposing here we'll start here. Okay, there is a one percent loss here. There is a one percent loss here. And you stop, or my goodness, I'm losing money. I should stop trading here. Then you miss this one, miss this one, miss this one, miss this one. So the point here is, if you see a danger position like this one here, only the only uh, your question is only valid if we are at the top or at the bottom, like this one. If we are trying to go long here, then you will lose all the money. If we are going to sh do short here, then you will lose all the money. So your um, dilemma here uh, always will come when price is struggling. Price is struggling. Uh, millions of people and trillions of dollar is struggling to clear this support, to clear this resistance, and market will be in a uh, range there. This will happen in trading. So if you see the previous uh, support and resistance, just avoid. So avoid selling here. Avoid selling here. Avoid selling here. Don't expect it will crack. Of course, it can crack, but never expect that. GBP AUD. Your questions on GBP AUD. We have only one trade on this one. Seventh of June. Twelve hour. We had many trades. This fellow did not work on the short side, but this worked long side. Good one, good one. This is zero zero. 
and this is uh, probably closed above high taken out out okay question no question here also no question then I'll go to sterling swiss because that was only one trade so question can be limited sterling swiss also we had one trade on the two day but in 12 hour we had one two three four five trades how good is that and all the trades except this one is a winner this is a this is a cost of business and this is a winner this is a winner this is a winner this is a winner how good is that I think Puru uh, when you went to fetch uh, Anamitra I was telling one thing the advantage of uh, combining this 12 hour and 2 days chart along with the line chart is you have a bias so for example you have a bias here down and you have a bias here down then take the trades only to the downside in the 12 hour as well as in the 4 hour so if there is an opportunity to go up here avoid that because the two day is going down and the line chart is going down and it is not quite at the bottom here to reverse so don't do that so only sell till it is approaching this point and reversing so that point was discussed when you were not here your questions any question from online Selben Binod this, this, this down only when it is finished till then no, uh, no, clear. From the weekly, monthly, you can. It is clear. It is clear. It is clear on the high kinesis that is downtrend. Yeah, you can say how you see those bars changing like red bar. Immediately, you have your uh, mindset uh, short. No, no. Puru is asking how to read this high kinesis. High kinesis is a fantastic tool. From here to here, from uh, 30th of April till date, we are having short on this one. And when this short is identified is this close or the low has to take this low. So if you see this close is a below this low, even it is not a turning point. There is no turning point in Haikinasi. Mm -hmm. So what you can do actually, because this is a very powerful tool. You can see the close is below this low, previous low, like this one here happened. So on the 30th April, on the 30th April, I'd be very negative on this trade because there's a resistance here can you see this resistance of course you have to do these lines unless and until you're doing these two three lines it will never happen in your lifetime so this is a resistance line which you have to do through practice and this resistance line actually gave us an opportunity to crack and snap back and this close of the hikinas is below the low of the hikinas so from this date i am short till date so your question of someday long someday short is an amateur you question avoiding any long in this yes situation. no long here zero long on this april april may and june zero long this is this is on today this is weekly weekly only not on no, no you can see the twitter no it doesn't matter go and see the two days also and averages you are looking uh, in terms of what you are looking uh, see this close which I told you not above this uh, high yeah. yeah and see this close is below this low can you see this so in two day also you can make out if you immediately think that this is an uptrend nonsense because this close is not above this but if you even you think that this is an uptrend no because this close is not above this high there are many ways to know one th only thing is that you have to observe but hickey bar doesn't get hickey <laughs> Hey, uh, that doesn't but, get completed until the next bar is formed. Uh, yeah, of course. Because, because the definition of close takes the... Yeah, so that bit of the... You might see a blue bar, but when the next bar happens red, then this also turns red. Possibility is very less. But it shortens the height. Never. Because this close, whether it is here or here, doesn't matter. The important is this next close has to be higher than this one. <coughs> next close has to be higher than this one. All right, your questions. Uh, Very helpful seeing the 2D and 12 power. Actually, you should thank Puru. And line chart side by side. Uh, yes, he has already thanked. Thank you, Puru, for suggesting that. Wow, Puru. Go, Puru. Puru is a full-time trader now. So you should listen to her. And listen to him. And Lisa, you should listen to her. Because she is doing a good backtesting. 
question uh, so those line chart huh? uh, line chart uh, a ptp opportunity how to capture because we are missing lot of opportunities so how to keep record and how to monitor things are sitting around the company you know as well as we are we see after you are as so we or us we said also from 30 percent we are also saying that we may not have that much lesser amount where we are missing so we are not monitoring correctly or we don't know how to because we write down yes possible in ctp and when it happens till we are late so and so many currencies going on at the same time so many uh, time frames going on so how we keep record how we simplify keep. it you know Puri is asking how to get. Uh, I think he had to rephrase his question. Uh, I I think he is asking plain and simple question. How to get confidence in line chart turning point? And simplify to capture that right time. You know? Yes, that is no simplification. If it happens, it happens. It simplify <laughs> our uh, methodology. Right. I'll, 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 I'll try to help. We are seeing that after this form. I'll help you. So he has asked two questions. How to get confidence on line chart turning point and how to simplify his understanding of uh, line chart. so my uh, i'll also answer in two ways first answer is always 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 keep this journal in whatever you do supposing you were doing a line chart testing header line chart turning point back test this must be done this must be done for at least one year for one for all the currency pair and this will not take more than one saturday sunday if you if you if you see one if you do one saturday sunday if you actually devote one saturday sunday on this line chart turning point back test so that will actually give you the confidence and if you do not do that you will never be confident on line chart Next question. I I quite did not understand your next question, so but I'll try to. To more see, uh, like you know, after the whole thing has happened, we see oh, so many sets of been set of been lost. Right? So how sitting like okay, I knew that okay, I, because it is form. That time it is we are not there in front of computer. Hmm. So how to capture uh, to monitor report like yeah, these are the currencies possible as a video or what? No. To monitor. Don't do that. How we deal Don't with that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. I think um, uh, till now I have not understood, but anyway. Every four hours, if you only go, you will not be able to pick up immediately that uh, like LCD unless you see another further something happen, and then you see oh this LCD happen. So no, 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 no. For that, what you have to do, I think I have already answered your question. For that, what you have to do, you have to first see the trending change. The trending change you can see from long term type perspective. For example, the trending change will happen. uh if there is a uh, if there is a retracement to a correct fibonacci level for the for now i'll give you example now as we speak as the, as it is market now so if i am you i will not suffer from that i'll draw fibonacci here and i see the 78.6 here so i'll be not very short here okay so i'll not be very short here but i'll not immediately see a line chart turning point to go long no not at all why because this close is not above this high so first thing first this close has to be above the high number 1 number 2 is this line chart turning point to be actually satisfactorily we can actually consider this as a support but this is as already broken so what we will do to uh, take advantage of your uh, question what we will do if i am you and I, i don't know whether it will go down or short what i'll do i'll do one thing i'll keep a point, uh, alarm here and count the low here no count the uh, open here uh, observe what i am doing very uh, carefully this is a bar which has opened here at 13107 if this has to be a turning point because this open is here above the line chart yes or no yeah. open is already above the line correct if this has to be a turning point to the upside so this open plus 70 so open is 13107 Plus seventy one thirty one seventy seven. So here one thirty one seventy seven. I'll come here and do all crossing, and put a seventy seven and real time, or current bar close. The difference between real time and current bar close. If you select current bar close, then the alarm will go only at an interval of four hour. Otherwise, if you see real time, it will probably. Every time it is touching seventy-seven, it will see alert trigger, alert trigger, so such and so on and so forth. So current bar close. We I'll put an alarm there. 
so if it is happening to be a uh, reversal i don't have to do anything price has told me it has reversed from this so if i am you i'll probably do that how to simplify i think this is the best simplification you can do take advantage of this uh, alarm and put an alarm okay next gbp usd uh could i have lisa's contact <laughs> so i can discuss further her back testing results please uh, i and i know you don't know each other but i know both of you uh just to tell a little bit of rosemary rosemary is with me for last almost 5 uh, 6 five, 5 five years i think she is brilliant in her back testing and she has actually shared with me and other students she is very hard extreme hard working Uh, and she has uh, shared her back testing uh, voluminous back testing with everyone so that is rosemary and lisa is mm, uh, when did we last taught when did i last taught you 3 years back that 5 years. years back i happened to uh, you happened you were my student or you were in my seminar in seminar not my student right so she i was not the tutor for uh, her she was she attended many of my seminars 5 years back so i know her from 5 years not not as much as i know rosemary because rosemary actually is doing this for last 4 years with me but uh, knowing lisa for nine last 6 uh, 7 months i think she is very close to rosemary as per as as in terms of uh, religiously doing the back testing uh, she is very close to you so it is up to lisa to say yes and so on and so forth yes so lisa said yes and uh, i will request her or what i'll do rosemary i will give your number to lisa so that you can get uh, in touch with each other yeah this is the only way i think you can learn from each other and i have learned so much from you people all right question gbp usd Rosemary says, "Thank you so much, Partha and Lisa." Yeah, it's a thanks to Lisa. Yeah. Come again. Thirteen June on GBP USD. Thirteen June is the second bar. Anyway, it was not a setup. Next question. Clarify the timing. The timing for the line chart. Hmm. You were saying, you know, at 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 one point, hmm. it's not confirmed until the the hmm. third bar is closed and finished. Until right? the two things happen. Yeah, Lisa is asking how to know the confirmation of the close of this bar. Two things should happen on the line chart close. It's very tricky. This line chart is extremely tricky, and but that is why it is so powerful. Two things should happen. One thing is low. plus high or high minus low should always be 50 write it down high minus low must be 50.000001 gbp is it still any other hold on let me answer this question so first thing first line chart each bar low uh, high minus low should be always 50 plus that means 50.000001 that is number 1 and that 50 point difference should be always happen at 4 bar 4 hour interval so we start at 9 o'clock in the morning so it can only happen 9 o'clock or 1 pm or 5 pm or 9 pm or 1 am or 5 am apart from this six time it can never ever close yes so if i look at the if i look at it at 9 o'clock Mm. And it hasn't got to that fifty yet. Mm. Then one o'clock. I can't enter based on what I see at that time. You can enter provided you add twenty pips. And it has satisfied our understanding of open and close above the line, and seventy percent above the line. Okay. Correct question. Puru, did I answer your question, Lisa? Mm-hmm. Yes, because I don't have, you know, because when I work, I'm not going to be checking it every four hours. And also because I'm trying to to trade the daily, 
um, it's I I go by the close of the previous day mm. for my entry. Mm. So if I wait till like one o'clock, mm. it's moved too much already from the previous bar. So since you have a challenge of not seeing the market, not respecting the market at one o'clock, because of your obvious reasons, you have to take that challenge. See the bar at nine o'clock and take the risk of plus minus twenty pips. Yeah, and come back for five o'clock at uh, evening, yeah. and see whether it has worked or not. If it has not worked, reverse, delete the trade with minimum loss. Yeah. Mm. So last one is USD JPY. Your question on USD JPY. We have only one trade. On the uh, on the day today. And uh, twelve hour we have uh, two trades, brilliant two trades actually. Questions. This is the last. One. Those of you who are doing commodity and share trading actually can ask questions. Because these markets are doing uh, absolutely brilliant, commodity and shares, especially the share market. Uh, you can keep a track from NP Financials blog or asset class evaluations here. Asset class evaluations here, or you can go to the blog and see the blog posting. You close on fifteen. Uh, huh? When did you close? You see, nine the case. Right? Fifteen thousand pips from Netflix. Five thousand pips from uh, Commonwealth Bank and Macquarie. They are really <coughs> doing fantastic. Five thousand pips from two trades, so on and so forth. Yeah, all the trades are here. Or, or, or is also here on the. Asset class. Your your question. <coughs> Which one? Fifteen June. Twelve hour. Two D. There is no trade on twelve. Fifteen June. No, no. Close the trade on fifteen. Yeah, low taken out. Which low? Was it fifteen or? Uh, fifteen because it touched. So Puri is asking whether this low or that low. Seventeen or fifteen? Is it is fifteen because seventeen did not touch. It has to touch. He did not touch, so this one. So now the question is between these two bars, whether this low should be taken out or that low should be taken out. I would say this low because that low would be loss of profit. So this close below low taken. I think, yeah. So at fifteenth of June, I think that's what I have written. I think fifteenth of June for the uh, forty dollars on uh, USD JPY. So that brings our. We have seven seconds to ask questions. Any last questions? <laughs> yeah, I have written 15 June when the low taken out. This is the one here, 15 June. All right. So your questions. So if you don't have any questions. I thank you very much for your time, and really appreciate your wonderful uh, questions. And here is the number, Lisa, Rosemary. Okay, thank you very much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you.